don't think he can survive that. I started out as a stuntman. Working on multiple film sets has been my film school. I was like a sponge. I just watch other directors do their thing and I'd pick up ways to do things and ways not to do things. Because you're on set and you see the pieces that a director is getting to make a sequence and then you get to see the end result. I get to see what worked about shots that they did and what didn't. Nash became a stunt guy, but he became a little bit impatient with the way things that they were doing on screen were cut together. So he would often like gather the footage and he'd cut his own version of it together. So he taught himself how to direct a movie. Ultimately, the kind of stunts I appreciate are when I don't expect them to happen. Action. There's a scene where the character Mitch gets hit by a car. I want it to feel quite awkward and shocking. I like to do stunts that feel like they just happen and they're not like, this is the coolest angle to shoot this stunt from. This is how the lead character would see that piece of action. And so that's why I try and do a lot of them either in one shot or seems like it's in one shot. You really believe in God? Of course I believe in God. What kind of person does not believe in God? I guess I kind of do, but not. <laughs> And with Gringo, the lead character Harold goes on this kind of insane journey and no matter how absurd the situation's got, I want them to feel real. And I think the more believable that is, the, the more tense certain moments can be and funny the situations can be. He's rooted in reality, but he has a very, very interesting visual eye and the way he kind of places camera and where he goes with camera really tells a story from a very, very different perspective. I have such admiration for that. I like to do stunts that feel like they just happen. There's a scene where Harold escapes from Mitch at the airport and Mitch chases after him. But Mitch just has to use what is available to him to stop Harold in his tracks. In that case, he has the, the bag that he's traveling with and that's what he uses to knock Harold off the wall. Nash has the ability to tell an action story in a unique and very compelling way. And I think that's a result of his background as a stunt coordinator. When he prepares for a film, he does something that's called pre-vising. He goes out with a small group of people and a camera, and he literally starts to act out the scene and the stunts. You know, I'll do what I call pre -vis, which is like go and shoot with a video camera, the stunt, and just start blocking through how I'd shoot it, where I'd see it from. Try and work out the physical mechanics. 